So I recently have been getting a lot of questions about delamination. So I just want to spend a couple minutes telling you what it is, what, what caused it, and what you can do about it. So as you can see on this coach, this is a 2004 Four Winds. It has a little bubble right here. Now that, that's exactly what delamination is. It's when the exterior fiberglass body separates itself from the interior wood construction. It's caused from two things generally, either uh, water damage or from excessive heat, which I am in Arizona. It is incredibly hot here. I think it's like 106 today. That being said, that's, that's a minimal possibility. It's generally from water damage. Now RVs, they're like mobile homes. I mean, you gotta cock the roof, you gotta cock around the windows. I mean, you gotta prevent things from you know dry rotting so you can get water damage. You don't want that. Now, it's literally, it'll be a bubble. You'll see it anywhere that there was any type of delamination. And when you touch it, it'll push in like that. You'll have like a little, little give to it. Now, as you can see, this bubble right here is located right under a window. Realistically, this came from water damage, probably from one of the drain plugs being, being plugged up or, you know, just not cocking the exterior there and water just leaked in and caused that. Now, it can be a cosmetic issue if it was taken care of early enough. If the wood is all, if the wood is all rotten back there, you could have, you know, bigger problems later on. So something to kind of keep in mind, you generally can feel it from the inside too if it's bad enough. Now on this side, you'll see a couple other areas. Right here, you got a bubble under the window, and then you got one more. It's really hard to see in the shade, I'm sorry, but bubble that comes from the roof. Now looking at this roof, if we zoom in here, you'll see there's like some flex tape up there. So the previous owner tried to do a little DIY fix, but not something I would honestly suggest. Let's see if you can see, you can kind of see a little bit of the waviness there. Now, and if you touch it, once again, look at that. You gotta watch out for that. If you are looking at used RVs, make sure, I mean, me personally, I'd, I'd make sure it doesn't have VLAM. And if it did, I'd make sure it's a small amount and it was taken care of right away. Cause it can be devastating and quite expensive later on in the RV life. Now, one way I've heard of people fixing them is they will, you know, if the wood's not, you know, completely shot, you can actually fill it with some epoxy. It's not going to lose the bubble. The bubble's going to be there. So you're, like I said, that's where it comes to be cosmetic. But some of the point out, you could do a little bit of a fix. I, uh, we, we generally don't suggest it. <laughs> I mean, it just could, you know, could cause some problems later on. But like I said, I wanted to spend a couple minutes, show you what DLAM is, explain, you know, what to do, what, what caused it, all that good stuff. If you have any questions go ahead comment down below if you have any suggestions please let us know thank you so much for viewing hopefully i taught you something have a great day